But when 10 on your side gets involved in a situation, we don't stop until it's resolved. Last week, we told you about a Chesapeake man who said trees kept falling on his fence. After we stepped in, the city admitted the trees were in the right of way and removed them. 10 on your side's Brandy Cummings has been covering this story from the beginning and joins us with this 10 on your side success. But Brandy, what about the damaged fence? Well, Anita, today there is still no clear answer yet on who will ultimately pay for that damage. The city removed those trees because they were on city property, but a city policy may mean repairing the fence would be the owner's responsibility. This is what we saw behind Carl Shannon's house one week ago. This is what it looks like now. Just going to have to get used to the... Uh... The absence of the trees and the backdrop. The six trees cut down last week by the city of Chesapeake now expose the damage to his fence. It's about eight to ten feet of damage, and it looks like the two by fours basically have to re be replaced. Ten on your side went to find out who is responsible for fixing it. The city's risk manager wouldn't talk about the case specifically, but explained the city's policy. If a tree is blown over, it's healthy, and uh, you just it's an unpredictable event. It's Mother Nature it causes a tree to fall. The city doesn't have any liability. To further explain the way Dan Hurley breaks down the process, if the city doesn't know about a tree and it falls, damaging your property, the city is not responsible for the damage. So they encourage citizens to report problems. If a tree, you know, was a hazard, if it's dead or dying or has some issue or it could be uh, a potential harm, uh, the homeowner just simply gives the uh, city notice and then the city would actually evaluate the tree and then with adequate time it's possible the tree if it needs to be could be removed. And that's what happened in Shannon's case. Hurley says after it's reported if a tree falls and the city hasn't fixed it, the city may be liable for damage. Trees have fallen on Shannon's fence three different times. The first two times he contacted the city but made the repairs himself. The last time he contacted Till on your side for the city to fix it. That hasn't happened yet. What's going to happen when there's a, a storm? Am I going to have a repeat incident next year or following years? Carl Shannon told me he will file the formal claim with the city of Chesapeake for repairs to his fence this week. The city told me today since he hadn't filed it, they weren't able to comment on his case. They said once that claim is filed, the risk management team will evaluate. In the Wavy Live Center, I'm Brandi Cummings, 10 on your side.